In this film a character, Solomon Vandy, a fisherman with a small family is depicted including his wife, two younger kids, and an elder son. Now, because he was a fisherman and poor, he didn't pay his responsibility for his children's education. He takes his elder son outside and says, Son, I didn't study but I want you to be a doctor. They were talking meanwhile, the wild people arrive from another tribe and were attacking the fisherman and his son while chasing them. The fisherman and his son run to their house and reaching there, he asks his wife and kids to wake up. The people are coming for attacking us and we have to moor from here. He breaks his house from another side and leaves from there but he was caught by the wild people and not only them they made everyone their slave. This tribe has a lot of weapons, and they ask the villagers to vote for them and will not vote for the government. The tribe leader was separating the villagers' hands as he said, we will rule you, and we are your government. When it was, Solomon's, turn he was released and taken to a stream the tribe people take the villagers to that stream because it contains raw diamonds. The tribe people make a deal of those diamonds and purchase the weapons and for all this, they use the hard work of the villagers. On another side, a party of huge businessmen is shown and it was a meeting in which they were discussing something personal. The conversation that none will discover outside this room they also talk about the raw diamonds and there were 15 diamonds that are real. The others are used for trading and the canal is shown where the villagers were searching for the diamonds. The leader was screaming that if someone will try to steal the diamond will be ended immediately. Give us the diamond if you will find it, now the people were busy finding the diamonds. Solomon, was also there and trying meanwhile, a villager is shown who has found the diamond. He hides it in his mouth instead of giving it to the leader. Unfortunately, the leader sees this and calls him for asking him about the diamond. He shoots him when the worker gives him the diamond as a punishment he hides the diamond. The workers get scared and start working immediately because the tribe people have made their appearance like they were wild people. The people will think that they don't know anything but in fact, they are very clever. They were a team who sells the diamonds and purchase weapons to make their team strong. Then a helicopter is shown there and a man appears from it named, Danny Archer. The people point guns at the helicopter due to it, the pilot escapes from there in the helicopter. Danny Archer, comes inside and asks about the Captain Zero, Danny, is a smuggler who takes the diamonds from here and supplies them the weapons. Then he meets the Captain, Zero, and takes the diamonds, Zero, says you remember you have to give me the weapons, Danny, says yes, I will bring them soon. Danny, considers himself a professional smuggler and uses some goats to escape from there. He escapes from there while hiding the diamonds but the police catch him and also recover the diamonds while searching the goats. Danny, was also caught and then the scene of the canal scene is shown, Solomon, was also searching for the diamonds like others. Meanwhile, he finds a huge diamond and he hides it under his toe. The water pump shows the problem and everyone gets attentive to it. Getting a chance from it, Solomon, says I have to go to the washroom but he was checked when he was leaving from there. Nothing was found because he has hide it under the foot he moves forward and was about to fix it in the mud the commander comes behind. Him, he says, give me that diamond because your cleverness will not work. Solomon, gets scared and was about to give him the diamond meanwhile, there was an attack of another country the commander dies in it and, Solomon, escapes from there timely. Soon the government people arrive there and it discovers they are the people whom the tribe people forbade to cast vote. They were capturing them but there isn't any mistake by, Solomon, in it. He has to hide the diamond there and he surrenders himself later, they take them to the prison, and, Danny Archer, was also there. Solomon, sees there is the man whom he was considering dead by the government. There was a bandage on his hand because there was a wound and coming to the prison he was lying because of his injury. He was still alive and he starts shouting while seeing, Solomon. I saw you hiding that diamond, so please return it to me. It will be bad for you if you do not return that diamond to me. He also requests others in his cabin give him the diamond while taking it from him, and he will reward them. 
Solomon, becomes furious hearing this and says while removing his clothes look, find the diamond from me, where is the diamond? I can't understand them they have snatched my family and asked about the diamond and, Danny, was also hearing all this. Now many days passed in the prison and the time has come when, Danny, was released. He meets his friend and says there is a suspicious man in the prison talking about a diamond, we have to release him from prison to learn about the diamond from him. Danny, doesn't have the money to release, Solomon, from jail then he is shown taking out his fake tooth and taking out a diamond from it. He releases, Solomon, from jail while selling it. He doesn't care about, Solomon, but he wants to take him out while selling the small diamond because he wants to ask him about that huge diamond about whom he was talking. When the, Danny's, companion releases him then asks him to contact, Danny. Solomon, doesn't do this, but he secretly starts living in another city. He doesn't reveal his identity and does all the tasks of the city that others do. So no one will know he didn't belong from here on another side, Danny, is shown whom a man was searching for. As, Danny, was a smuggler so he worked with a colonel at first now the man goes to, Danny's, house in his absence and starts breaking the thing in his house. Danny, beats the man. When he meets him and says while punching his belly this is for the things you broke in my house. The man says the colonel is remembering you now he goes to meet the colonel and it discovers he was his partner in crime. Danny, wants to tell him about, Solomon, and that diamond. Danny, returns and sees, Solomon, there but he was ignoring him because he doesn't want to meet him. On another side, the strange people of the tribe has imprisoned, Solomon's, son with them and they were training him like themselves. After it, they were given drug injections and were also given the training to end the people. How do rule and control them? Means they were washing the kids' brains. Then a list is shown in the city and there were some refugees named the people who are new to the city and they have lost their family and don't have any place to live. There were refugee camps for them and there were their family details as well whether they come here or not. Solomon, was watching the list but there wasn't his family member's name on that list. He becomes distressed while reading it and then, Danny, arrives while searching for him and says why aren't you listening to me? Solomon, says because I don't want to as I know why. Are you chasing me? There isn't anything like this so please leave from here. He requests him to leave him but, Danny, says do you want to meet your family? They will not let this happen so listen to me, the diamond you have I will sell it and will get a lot of money in return. You can also take money from it and can reunite with your family while giving it to the government. Solomon, starts thinking because of it whether he should tell him about the diamond or not. They notice an attack of few people there and they are none other than the tribe people who have made their separate army. They are making the citizens their slaves and taking the ones who aren't listening to them. During this, Solomon, and, Danny, start running from there to escape while running they reach the refugee camp made by the government. Danny, meets a reporter there who was in search of the diamonds. As this news has spread everywhere and everyone wants to know about it. Solomon, says I will tell you about the diamond but if you reunite me with my family then I will tell you. The reporter was thinking maybe, Solomon, hide the diamond at the place where he liveth. She goes to his home in a helicopter, Danny, and, Solomon, were also with her. Solomon, was going with them quietly with them that maybe he will find his family there. Reaching there, they find a huge refugee camp there were many people and when, Solomon, moves forward he sees his wife. He becomes emotional while seeing her and asks her is she fine. But she starts weeping. She says yes, I am fine because now I saw you, Solomon, asks about his elder son that where is he? And his wife starts weeping. She says they have taken him, Solomon. He becomes depressed hearing this and becomes aggressive. The security throws him out while saying there isn't his name in the refugee camp. They move from there while sitting in the helicopter, Solomon, doesn't see any solution so he says to, Danny, I have an idea. 
I will tell you the address of the diamond but with the money of the diamond you will save my son. Danny, agrees but they can't go there like this as the army of the tribe was very strong. They moved to the reporter's van while escaping and there were other reporters, Solomon, holds the camera so they consider him a reporter but they move forward and the army attacks. Many reporters were ended in that attack even the driver was also ended in which there was, Danny, and Solomon. Danny, starts driving the car and the tribe's army was still behind them and was repeatedly attacking them. The reporter, Danny, and, Solomon, move inside the forest in the car when they reach the place where the army will leave them, they start walking. Meanwhile, some wild people arrive in front of them who live there they stop them but the reporter tries to talk to them in their language. She makes them believe that we will not harm them. So don't harm us now they have become friends and move forward. Then a house is shown where there is just a doctor he is serving the kids and taking care of them. They see the kids but there wasn't, Solomon's, son among them. Now the doctor agrees that he will help them to find, Solomon's, son and he takes them forward while driving the car meanwhile, some teenagers of the army arrive. They stop them to move forward and during this, the doctor dies. Danny, again controls the car and as they move forward they find a military camp. There is the colonel who is, Danny's, companion and asks him to join their military. He asks him to fight against the tribe's army but, Danny, says no I can't do this after all this, the reporter says I have to be separated from you and he gives the details of how to find the smuggled diamonds. What is their criteria, to whom she has to convey them, and what are the benefits. The reporter leaves after tacking all the details. Danny, and, Solomon, were moving into the forest while moving forward, they see the army of the tribe. It consists of some kids and elders and, Solomon, sees his son among them. He calls him, my son, listen to me and look at me, before his son could see him the others see them and start firing at them. During this, they again run from there to escape. As it was night appearing in the forest and due to the dark trees it is impossible to find them so the tribe Popal leave. The morning appears and, Danny, says ill about, Solomon. Our night is ruined because of your voice, otherwise, we will proceed but how, Solomon, can make him understand that he can't see his son like this. He couldn't stop himself and they start fighting while walking because, Danny, says ill about him. Solomon, beats him and when, Danny, was about to beat him he makes him understand that he has done wrong to him. If I have seen my son can you think I could stop myself? Danny, realizes and he sort out the problem now while walking they reach near the canal from where the diamonds are taken out. They were near the place where, Solomon, has hidden the diamond. They spy on them for the whole day with binoculars and as the night appears they try to move inside. Here, Solomon, sees his son and he tries to call him while going near him but his son couldn't recognize him because of brainwash. He points a gun at them and due to it, the tribe people come to them while attracting. They make, Solomon, their slave when he becomes their slave they take him to the commander who became injured because of him. He was the witness that, Solomon, has hidden the diamond. The commander points a gun at, Solomon's, son and says if you will not tell me about the diamond I will end your son. Solomon, thinks about what should he do. And, Danny, was also watching all this from a distance. He contacts his military friend and asks them to send army here and attack that place. After some time, the military arrives and attack the place meanwhile, Danny, also arrives. He takes out. Solomon's, son from there and also shooting at the tribe army. The military arrives and make the tribe army their slave. It ends all the evil people and now the colonel move near, Danny, and asks about the diamond, Danny, says only, Solomon, knows about this. He says, Solomon, tell them about the diamond and actually, he has a plan. When the colonel will send the military to find out the diamond they will end all of them and will escape while taking the diamond from there. It happens the same when the colonel sends the military they run from there while ending them. 
Solomon's son comes in front when they were leaving. Solomon calls him that you are my son but he doesn't recognize him and points gun at his father. Then he tells him his mother's name and says you are my son and remember the time you spent with us. Remembering all this, his son starts weeping and hugs his father. Danny calls his friend and asks him to send a helicopter here while sending the location. His friend agrees and the helicopter will be here soon. Now they have to go upward to reach the place they have to climb but, Danny's blood was wasted in those attacks. He was shot a bullet and he can't even walk. Solomon sees he can't walk so he says I will take you while lifting you up on my shoulder. They move forward but, Danny has lost much blood and feeling weak and he says to Solomon, I can't travel further so you have to go alone. Before sending him far he takes out the diamond and gives it to him while saying this is your son's future. You wanted to make him a doctor like you told me, hold it now you need it, not me. The helicopter will be here soon so leave from here immediately. As they were moving to the helicopter some people of the tribe come to Danny and few of them were from military but Danny ends them while shooting them. On another side, Solomon and his son move while sitting in the helicopter, Danny calls the reporter and tells her that Solomon and his son moved to the city. You have to receive them and tell the world how great they were. They have heroic qualities. Saying this, Danny dies and on another side, Solomon reaches city with his son and the reporter welcomes them nicely and was telling everyone about Solomon Vandy. That's how great he is, and what has he accomplished up to this point. Because of this, he becomes famous and the people start liking him. Now the day arrives when he has a huge press conference. He was suited booted and sees, Danny's, picture before going there. He recalls him, and when he arrived, there were huge businessmen, politicians, and a reporter sitting. They were clapping to welcome and appreciate him. Here this movie, Blood Diamond, ends. I hope you like the explanation. Thank you for watching.